What are the steps to replace a lost or stolen green card? Replacing a lost or stolen green card, permanent resident card, and going through the USA visa process can be a complex procedure. Here are the steps you need to follow. 1. File a police report. If your green card has been stolen, it is advisable to file a police report to document the theft. 2. Gather supporting documents. Collect all necessary documents required for the replacement process, including a copy of the police report, if applicable. Personal identification documents, e.g., passport, driver's license. Evidence of your immigration status, e.g., previous green card, visa approval notice. Complete Form I-90, fill out the application to replace permanent resident card, Form I-90 online or by mail. This form is available on the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS website. Pay the filing fee. As of 2021, the filing fee for Form I-90 is $540, which includes a $455 application fee and an $85 biometrics fee. Payment can be made by check, money order, or credit card. Submit the application. If you complete the form online, you can submit it electronically on the USCIS website. If you choose to file by mail, send the completed application, supporting documents, and payment to the appropriate USCIS lockbox facility. Biometrics appointment. After USCIS receives your application, you will be scheduled for a biometrics appointment. At this appointment, your fingerprints, photograph, and signature will be taken. 7. Attend an interview. If applicable depending on your individual circumstances, USCIS may require you to attend an interview to verify your eligibility for a replacement green card. 8. Track your application. Utilize the USCIS online case status tool or contact USCIS directly to track the progress of your application. Receive your new green card. Once your application is approved, you will receive a new green card by mail. In some cases, USCIS may issue a temporary evidence document while your green card is being produced. It's important to note that the above steps provide a general outline and individual circumstances may vary. For specific guidance and to ensure accuracy, it is recommended to consult the USCIS website or seek legal advice from an immigration attorney. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.